Join us as we embark on a seven-night cruise to the Norwegian fjords on board p and Iona. So that was a really smooth boarding experience. Like, it's been about 25, 30 minutes since we actually got in the queue and now we're on board. So we'll show you what it was like in the terminal. For this cruise, we used CPS parking, dropping off the car just outside the cruise terminal. Embarkation was extremely efficient. We never stopped or waited and was on board within 20 minutes. Straight after boarding, we checked in at our muster station on deck seven, the Coral Restaurant. So we just got into our cabin. We have got a balcony cabin on deck number 12, and it's a really nice sized cabin, very similar to MSE Virtuosa in the layout with the aircon, but we'll show you that in just a second. So as you walk into the room, first thing I wanna point out, we don't have um, the things that go on door handles. Instead, you have this magnetic, um, thing that on one side says gone exploring or the other says taking it easy so just plop that onto the front of your door if you're going out or whatever you're doing or if you're staying in the room you've also got underneath then your card holder that you have to put your card in there to turn all, activate all the lights in the room and there's a couple of lights here as well so. i'm going to ask you to come forward because your hair is glowing under that light is it <laughs> Yeah. See, this is the problem with going like white hair. Like, it just reflects. It's causing a, a solar flare. <laughs> That's so rude. I'm um, <laughs> then you've got your bathroom. One thing I want to point out with this bathroom is it is a um, night light to like show you the step into the bathroom because there's always a step into the bathroom on cruise ships. And this is our bathroom. Okay, so this is actually quite a nice sized bathroom. Um, I'll kind of pan back a bit so you can kind of see it all. Um, so as you walk in, there's obviously a mirror and me in that mirror. Um, but you've got some storage there for your toothbrushes, uh, a sink. Uh, this, I thought this was a cupboard earlier, but it's not. I guess you could store some bits in there. It's just for access to underneath the sink. And there's some storage areas beside the bin, as well as on the other side, where there's some facial tissues, toilet tissues, as well as disposable bags and some more facial tissues up here. Toilet is your standard uh, vacuum kind of toilet. And then you've got some storage by the side of the mirror too, and your white company hand wash. Got some towel storage just above the toilet. And then you have the shower cubicle, which I like because it's glass and it's not a curtain. I don't know why I uh, hate curtains so much. I think it's because they clean you when you're trying to wash, but I prefer a glass. So I'm gonna open this up. And then yeah, nice size in here, um, drain. Some storage areas, you've got two kind of storage shelves here for some bits and pieces, and you've got some white company products as well. And you have the handheld shower thing, hose. And up here you do have a washing line, so it comes out from this side, and it plugs into there, so you've got a little hanging line up there too. Okie doke, so now I'm gonna turn around this side. Again, just some more towel hanging areas and a little leaflet about how we're trying to save water and not to wash your towels every day. And if you want to save towels, put them up here. If you don't, leave them on the floor or in the waste area in the shower cubicle. So anyway, back to the main cabin. So as you come out in the bathroom, you have aircon control units here, go up or go down. It's nice and cool in here at the moment, although it has warmed up a bit since we had the balcony open, so I don't think it works with the balcony open. 
Coming back a bit further, you've got some four coat hangers up here. Perfect to put away those kind of coats, save room in your room. I'm waffling on now, aren't I? So you also have a bin down here just on the floor. Lovely. And as you come into the main living space, again, you've got quite a lot of room here, even though I did just trip over the table that's next to the sofa. But you've got some storage units just uh, to camera right. And in this one, we'll go far left first. You have a safe. Not big enough to store a MacBook, but it is still fairly large. Uh, you probably get an iPad mini in there and some bits and pieces. And you've got some storage. Dan's hung up his coat there. And there's some hangers. Same again, more shelves and a hairdryer in this one, which is really odd. This one, double storage. Um, so Dan can hang up his long dresses in this one and his cocktail dresses and all that stuff. And we've got some life jackets up there too. Bag for laundry if you want to use laundry. And pretty much it with that cupboard. You've also got a large sofa and this table, which I think is really cool because, you know, you can just move it about whatever you need to do. Uh, this does turn into a bed, a sofa bed, but um, just call your room attendants to do that and they will do that for you. We don't need it because there's only two of us in this cabin and we have two beds. So yeah, nice large sofa. And then you have all this area in front of me. So this area is actually quite nice. And it's quite practical. So you've got two UK plugs here and I believe this is a European plug. You've got a couple of light switches here and a lot of kind of desk space. So we've got excursions on this cruise and they've been provided in ticket form on our desks. So we've had a look through those to make sure they're correct. We've also got the horizon on the desk, which is the daily kind of um, information on board this cruise. And yeah, I really like this storage area. I don't know why that came out so loud. Up here, you've got some more space to store your bits and pieces, room service menu, and you've got some water. So these bottles of water are free, but you do have to pay for additional cans, which you can do by calling room service. And um, don't forget mention the kettle mention it again shout out to the kettle and you've got some um, cups mugs and then tea and coffee just in here just down below and then just underneath you do have your mini fridge the mini fridge is in the left one and it is empty at the moment but we usually get some milk from the buffet chuck it in there so we've got more milk in the cabin it's just easier and some more sto storage just down below have a nice flat screen TV, remote control here as well, and the telephone to call for room service, housekeeping, reception, whatever you need to do. And I really like this little cupboard. It looks so tiny, and it is so tiny, but we'll probably put some foody bits in there. That's gonna be our little snacking cupboard. And then just behind me, we do have two twin beds. And we asked this for a twin configuration, but we'll probably just move them together anyway, just to get the extra duvet in the room. Um, so we need to unpack, so we have got our suitcases but they're large suitcases. You can't see them because you chuck them underneath the bed. They do hold suitcases underneath. So awesome, takes up less of your storage area just in there. So on this side, you do have a couple of light switches controlling some of the lights in the room. I'm not sure what this one's doing, to be fair. It's not really doing much. Um, and then you've got this lamp up here. It does have the lamp and it's got a reading light just underneath. And it's also got a USB port. On this side there isn't a UK plug socket, but on the other side there is. It's all exactly the same, USB, read and light, bedside light, but there's an additional UK plug over there, which is great. And finally, the best bit is the balcony. So I'm just gonna open these up. Apologies again for my white hair, because it might go quite reflective. Too reflective or okay? Here we go. Yay. So this is actually quite a large balcony. So there's all two chairs and a table as well, but it's quite deep compared to Britannia, which is a really narrow balcony. This is quite large. You can actually have a little walkabout on here and it's a nice view. We're on deck 12. So you've got the promenade four decks below us on deck eight. And um, yeah, it's going to be lovely to go through the fjords on here. Well, that was stressful. Was it what the unpacking? Yeah. Yeah. It seemed to take ages. It's like we've packed a whole like house. Yeah. Do you have to just to block your hair off? Oh, I'll stand here, is that better? <laughs> yeah. So, we're going to go get some food, aren't we? I'm just packing up my little bag. Okay. Yeah. Zip, zip. Where are we going for food? We don't know. We're Come even going to go... We might go to the buffet, but I want to see what Keys is like, if that's open. Oh, okay. I don't know if it's open. I know they said some places are open, not all of them yet. Okay then. Yeah, let's do that. So we're in the buffet. Mm -hmm. But we're with people this time. We are. We are with my parents. So we have to be nice and gracious and let them go first. So we are holding the table. <laughs> it's really annoying because now we have to hold your mum's bag for her while she goes and <laughs> walks around the buffet for three hours. Yeah. Do we know where there's a water refilling station yet? No idea. I don't know. No. 
Okay. I thought they were everywhere, but they weren't where we just were. What are we going for in the buffet? I'm probably going to go for Indian food. What are we going to do if they haven't got Indian food? We're going to have Chinese food. And this is why we're the buffet guys. Yeah, it is. <laughs> um, I also want a Pepsi. Okay. Someone will be over soon enough, yeah. won't they? Yeah. Cool. So the selection up there is really random. Um, I've gone for vegan fajita with no wrap, um, chips and beef outside the gold store. Why is it random? It's random because I don't like corn, so I've just gone for the vegetables from it, like taking the corn out. There wasn't much like selection for me, I was hoping for like the curry, but well, what have you got? Okay. Well I've gone for cottage pies, some roast potatoes, broccoli and a carrot cake and lemon drizzle cake. But you got no gravy? I couldn't find the gravy. Oh. So. My dad has gravy. Let's tuck in anyway. Also in Southampton today were Norwegian Prima and Pianos Ventura. We left just after 6.30pm to probably the most stunning weather we have ever had for a departure day. some food. So the in-laws have gone to the Keys. Which we will try another night. Yeah. Um, we thought, well no, the glass house is closed for food but it's open for drinks. Yeah. I mean fancy for glass house but that's closed so we've come here instead. But it's all, it's been a thing so far that each embarkation day we do something with steak. So yeah. we are here. Thank you. Thank you very much. So yeah. So we thought we'd try this. Oh and we just had a bucket delivered. Bucket of coffee. <laughs> Um, so we did have a drink outside earlier on the promenade deck, and it was quite nice, wasn't it? Yeah, it was. Relaxing. So I thought that was ours then. I thought that was perfect. I know, but it looked amazing. So it just looked nice. So we've ordered a cheese thing to share. Cheese thing. I don't know what it is. Some starter. <laughs> but we'll talk about it when it comes over. And then I've gone for a ploughman's, and you've gone for a the prime minister burger, which is they call the best burger at sea. But I've asked you about blue cheese. I do not like blue cheese. So yeah. Fair enough. So you've got to tell us if it is the best burger at sea. I will. Yeah. Cool. Let's have a look at the food. So Georgie, I'm going to talk you through what we've got. Okay. We have got a very smelly baked Hampshire Tunworth cheese. Smell it, it keeps wafting. <laughs> Some sweet date relish. And I don't know if I'm saying this right, Fugasi dipping bread. Thoughts? This cheese smells. <laughs> This is seven pounds and it's to share. We shall give you a verdict shortly. Uh, wow. When that came, I was like, no way we're gonna eat all of that. <laughs> we ate it all. Um, but now we've got our mains coming. Did you enjoy it though? I saw, uh, yeah, I think we need to do some more, sorry, I'm, I'm drunk on Pepsi. Um, I, we need, still need to do some post analysis on that, that starter, because it was so nice, the cheese. Yeah. when you paired it with the bread and then the relish on top was yum but I loved it you were a bit I this is gonna sound funny I'm not a fan of like different cheeses but I preferred the cheese when it was cooler it tasted different when it was warm <laughs> I don't know that was just my brain um, but yeah I really enjoyed it ah. and like the um, the relish it just all worked really well together doesn't it that was yeah. sweet the bread was really salty and then the cheese was cheesy so yeah, it's just quite nice, glued all together. Yeah, this is a feast of a meal today, isn't it? <laughs> Move back over there. So, eyes are bigger than my belly. What have you got? I've got, so it's the Prime Minister, I'm reading it because it makes it easier. <laughs> Prime beef patty 
Um, it just comes with Isle of Wight blue cheese, but I subbed it for mozzarella, it's not a fan of blue cheese. Bacon, beefsteak tomatoes, pancetta jam, onion marmalade, roast garlic mayonnaise, pickled gherkins and a salted bun, skin on fries and bloody mary ketchup. Is this metal? Yes. Oh my god, it is metal. Yeah. Put it in the bag. I just stole a chip and it was really nice. So, and you've got a special tray to eat it on. Yeah. And then you've got more cheese there. Yeah, tell me what's in mine, because you've got my phone. Dan has Libin's, Libin's Winchester Mature Cheese, Salisbury Stony Cross Cheese, Isla White Blue Cheese, Balsamic Onions, Pickled Red Cabbage, Country Bread, Sweet Garlic and Nigella Seed Relish. Yum. A lot of cheese. And you got a bottle of sauce as well. What is this sauce? That's the Bloody Mary ketchup. Bloody? What is, what's the, what, what? It's made with vodka. Oh. It's just sauce. Uh oh. So, <laughs> give that a go. Okay, cool. I don't know if that's mine to keep though, or if it's just a new bottle. Verdict coming up. So how was your burger? I'm defeated now. <laughs> I didn't eat the bun, the bread, because I had that bread to start. Yeah. Um, I took most of my salad out, apart from the onions and the tomatoes. But it was really nice. And this sauce, Bloody Mary ketchup, surprising. Very strong vodka though. Um, you liked it as well, didn't you? Yeah, very nice. Yeah, so strange. And how was your plowman's? It was okay. The cheeses were okay. Um, nothing special. Um, the two pots weren't very, were not very nice. Something else? Yeah. <clears throat> um, yeah, the bread was stale and unfrozen. Had white freezer marks on it. Um, so you have that again. I wasn't too impressed, no. no. But um, I'm glad you enjoyed yours, and we enjoyed the starter. I said to Dan though, I do want to take this home and use it to open my letters. I bet they have a lot of people but, stealing those. Yeah, but I can't do that. <laughs> yeah. So overall, I think because of yours and the starter, I think we have to give it a thumbs up. Yeah. Yeah. I'd have preferred glass house for the steak, <laughs> but no, thumbs up for me. How much was your burger? £13, I think. Wasn't so, cheap. I think we spent about £25.50 in there. Yeah. Ex um, excluding drinks. So. Cool. Yeah. See you in a bit. So, we're back in the cabin. Oh, and hello, by the way. I haven't seen anyone yet. Have you not hey. been on camera yet? No, because you just oh. it all. Dan is here as well. Yeah. I don't know. I'm just a voice in the background. Chuck a camera in my face <laughs> and talk. Yeah. Right, so, embarkation. Mm hmm. Good, bad? Good. Quick, cool. easy, efficient. Yeah. Um, cabin. Very similar to Virtuosa. Very. Um, and I say that because of the layout, the sofa here, mm. bed there, aircon in your face when you're laying in bed. Um, and the cupboards are the same as Virtuosa as well, aren't they? Yeah, yeah. Do you I like the view? It's better decorated than Virtuosa. Um, oh yeah, they had that weird saxophone wall art and the cupboard. Yeah, it's just a bit more relaxed than here. I quite yeah. like this art as well. What is it? I don't know. Could be a multitude of things. I've been told of what it is before, but um, I can't remember. No. Um, so yeah, but you've seen the cabin tour, so you know it's it's good. Um, then we went to the buffet, mm -hmm. Ofs, um, and we had a nice meal in there. That was actually a really nice meal. Conscious pie was very nice. I didn't mind my meal in the end, but it was a very small buffet area, wasn't it? Mm. It wasn't as big as Britannia, um, even Ventura. It was quite a small buffet area, which is strange, but... Yeah. It was enough choice. There was quite a few dessert choices. Yeah, and the yeah. desserts were actually really nice. Yeah, um, I don't know if you filmed my cherry bakewell that I had with the custard. I didn't. Sorry. Oh, I got this cherry bakewell with custard. It was lovely. <laughs> Happily have that again. Um, then we saw Sail Away, which was nice. A little bit rocky. Surprisingly. It was. Yeah, as we kind of went into that. Is it the Solent between yeah. Yeah. Isle of Wight? It was a bit yeah windy. Yeah. Then we decided to have food in Keel and Cow, as you've just seen, um, and we gave most of our opinions there, and we gave it a thumbs up. Um, we've also made a rather negative discovery. The breakfast room service now carries a charge of two pound fifty delivery, whereas all the P&Os we've been on before, all two of them, <laughs> um, have been free. Yeah. So, like, that's that's a a bonus that we always love about P&O and unfortunately it's 
I don't know if it's just Iona, but yeah, mm. that's really sad. We don't tend to eat breakfast, so it's no. nice to have it delivered to the room, just to have yeah. a couple of pastries or whatever. Because we can take them throughout the day then. Yeah, but we just changed. Yeah, so that's a shame. Um, seems mm. a little bit naughty, but we'll probably still do it at least once, nowhere near as many times as we normally do, because we don't normally go anywhere for breakfast, we just get that in, yeah. don't we? So. But yeah, and now we're back in the cabin. Had a first showers. How was the shower? Water pressure was a little bit. Yeah. But I really like the White Company fragrance. The jasmine one. Yeah, I think it's whatever it is. Yeah, from Britannia, Britannia first Pinot <laughs> Cruise. I fell in love with the smell, and then, yeah, I'm glad it's still here. Hooked. I like it. Hooked. Yeah. And, yeah, so tomorrow we're at sea, and then the next day we're in Stavenga. Stavenga. Um, so we've got that to come, and in a few more days, which I won't say now, but... Um, got an exciting few days few vlogs planned for you so. this one's been a bit rushed isn't it this is our first time cruising with other people as well yeah <laughs> we've got Dan's parents with us so we haven't been filming as much as we normally do no. um, so it's going to be a strange one this this cruise to try yeah. and make sure we get enough to yeah. show you guys so we're going to explore this ship tomorrow we don't know how much we're going to explore but we're going to try and explore as much as possible so that'll be our sea day and that'll be the next vlog um, but that's it for today yep this is you. Okay. We hope you've enjoyed watching this week's vlog. If you have, give us a thumbs up and don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Just down below, it might be that side. It's been the same for like I five can put minutes. it wherever you want. Put it this side, because okay. you're wearing black, so it might look better. Um, yeah, so don't forget to subscribe. You can also check out georgeanddan.com or scan the QR code that's going to pop up on your screen in the next couple of seconds. Check out our website, which will give you a list of the restaurants and the menus from the restaurants in which you've eaten at today. And we'll see you later.